Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to uh, sensors and transducers and density measurement. So in this video, we are going to discuss another method of density measurement, which is the air bubbler system. So in the previous uh, two videos, we have discussed the hydrometer and the uh, load cell method of density measurement. This is the air bubbler system. So before going into detail, density, which is a very important parameter uh, in, for industrial purposes, whether it is solid, liquid, or gases, it is very important. And there are two uh, way. No, it is classified in two ways: mass density, which is the mass per unit volume, and weight density, which is the weight force. Per unit volume simple weight density is mass density multiplied with acceleration due to gravity small g so density measurement is very important and uh, it is comparatively easy for fluids liquids and gases as compared to solids it is very difficult for solids because they are continuously in movement also the fluids they are in movement so they have to be accumulated in, at one place especially a tank kind of a set up a container and there the measurements are done so the air bubbler system it also employs a similar strategy as compared to hydrometer and load cell I mean the basic foundation principle is the same that the fluid the liquid is accumulated in a container a tank through the intake pipe and uh, a particular level of the liquid is maintained through regulating the intake and the outflow here the extra setup that is done is this t-shaped structure t-shaped pipe with the regulating valve so what is done is that through this t-shaped pipe air pressure or air at a certain pressure is supplied into this tank which creates air bubbles or pressure in this tube which is the portion of this tube which is immersed in the fluid from this point to this point having a height small h from this point to this point the pressure which is generated because of the air supply into the fluid that is very important and the excess air pressure it uh, goes out through this outlet pipe now it is the air pressure or uh, the pressure which is generated because of the air bubbles in this portion h of this tube which is immersed in the fluid that gives us information about the density of the fluid okay so that is the whole principle of air bubbler system so the pressure in the tube that is equal to the pressure which is generated because of this head h because of this height h and that is given by this formula the pressure generated by the air bubbles in this much portion h of the tube height h of the tube that is given by h rho g here the important thing is that this h is fixed because level is maintained fixed in the container with the help of level measurement techniques level sensors are there whenever level crosses upwards an alarm is triggered and outflow and inflow they are balanced they are regulated so that the level in the container is fixed so h is fixed then acceleration due to gravity g that is fixed only thing that controls the pressure in this tube that is the density rho of the liquid okay so this pressure is directly related with the density so if we measure the pressure 
okay if we measure the pressure this pressure then it will give us a direct relationship with respect to this rho rho g h so once we get the pressure this output supply pressure then we can connect any other pressure measurement device or anything it can be bellows it can be diaphragms it can be borden tube pressure gauge uh, or any other force measurement device can also be you know connected and we can get a direct readout in terms of density because the pressure which we will get which we will calculate will simply divide it with h and g product h or product of h and g and that will give us density rho because g and h are fixed so the output can be directly calibrated in terms of density so uh, if we want to convert it into suitable electrical signals then same thing we can we have to use electrical transducers we have to use resistive inductive capacitive transducers or piezoelectric uh, pressure pressure transducers can be used which will give us a direct voltage or current output then again the same old thing we have to pass it through signal conditioning and processing circuitry because the signal magnitude will be low it has to go through amplification stages then filtering then noise removal then linearization a lot of other things are done then if we want to get a digital readout then analog to digital conversion sampling quantization encoding then we will get a direct digital readout but here the main operating principle is that the air supply which is given the fixed air supply pressure which creates this pressure inside the tube that depends on density because we have maintained a fixed level fixed h g is fixed and the only thing that controls or that is dependent on this pressure inside the submerged portion of the tube is density of this accumulated liquid okay so this is the important relationship here so this is the basic operating principle of air bubbler system for density measurement okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much